Hi guys and welcome to the sixth video of this entire series. If you are watching this series from the beginning, we have discussed what is Azure AD Connect. We have discussed Azure AD Connect architecture. We have discussed prerequisites that need to be met before you install Azure AD Connect. We have discussed what are the service accounts that Azure AD Connect use to synchronize information from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. And I have shown you practically how we can install Azure AD Connect with Express settings and with custom settings. In this particular video, I will be discussing how we can configure filtering within Azure AD Connect. I will be discussing what are the benefits of filtering, what are the types of filtering configuration that can be done in Azure AD Connect, and then I will be showing you practically how we can configure filtering within Azure AD Connect. By default, Azure AD Connect synchronizes all the objects from on-premise Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. But with the help of filtering, we can control which objects we want to synchronize from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. In Azure AD Connect, we can perform four types of filtering. We can filter objects using group-based filtering, domain-based filtering, organizational unit or OU based filtering and attribute based filtering. So with the help of these four filtering configurations, we can decide which objects we want to synchronize from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. So now let's discuss each type of filtering in detail. Let's assume that we have 10 users in Active Directory and out of these 10 users, we want to synchronize only four users to Azure Active Directory. So to achieve this, we will create one security group in Active Directory and we will add these four users within this security group. Then we will specify this security group on filter users and devices page while installing Azure AD Connect tool. So in this way, only these four users will be synced to Azure Active Directory. Group based filtering can be configured when you install Azure AD Connect with custom settings. We cannot configure group based filtering after installing Azure AD Connect. The next type of filtering that we can configure within Azure AD Connect is domain based filtering. By using domain based filtering, we can decide which domain we want to sync from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. Let's assume that we have two domains in on-premise Active Directory, abc.com and xyz.com, and both domains have user accounts. With the help of domain-based filtering, we can decide if we want to synchronize objects that are within abc.com domain or the accounts that are within xyz.com domain or we want to synchronize both domains to Azure Active Directory. Now let's assume that we have added one more domain within on-premise Active Directory. So with the help of domain-based filtering, we can add this domain within Azure AD Connect so that users from this domain can be synced to Azure Active Directory. I will show you practically how we can configure domain-based filtering and other type of filtering and things will be more clear. The third type of filtering that we can configure within Azure AD Connect is organizational unit or OU based filtering. In Active Directory, we have multiple OUs and sub OUs. And of course, each OU have users, groups and computers. If we do not configure OU based filtering, Azure AD Connect will by default synchronize objects from all the OUs to Azure Active Directory. But with the help of OU based filtering, we can control which OU we want to synchronize to Azure Active Directory. The organizational units that are checked, these OUs are called within syncing scope. That means the objects that are within these OUs will be synced to Azure Active Directory. And the OUs that are unchecked, these OUs are called 
non sinking scope ous that means the objects within these ous will not sink to azure active directory there is one more thing about ou based filtering that we need to be aware of let's assume that you have already synchronized one user from an ou to azure active directory and later you unchecked this ou within azure ad connect filtering so in that case the user that was synchronized earlier from this ou that user will be deleted from azure active directory because you are telling azure ad connect not to synchronize the user or objects from this particular organizational unit so when you will uncheck this ou on the next sync cycle the objects that were already synced to azure active directory from this ou they will be moved to deleted users in azure active directory and the fourth type of filtering that can be configured in azure ad connect is attribute based filtering attribute based filtering is the most flexible way to filter objects we can apply either inbound filtering or outbound filtering to filter the objects based on their attributes for example if extension attribute 1 contains test then do not sync that particular object we can create inbound or outbound synchronization rules on the basis of the conditions or the attributes of the users and we can filter if we want to synchronize a particular object or not before we perform any type of filtering within azure ad connect we need to disable sync scheduler the command to disable sync scheduler is set hyphen ad sync scheduler hyphen sync cycle enabled dollar false with the help of this command you can disable sync scheduler if you will not disable sync scheduler and you are going to make any changes within the filtering you are filtering your domains or you are filtering your ous the changes that are that you are going to make will not be synchronized to azure active directory that is the reason we disable sync scheduler before we make any changes within the filtering once you have disabled sync scheduler go to synchronization service manager if you are within operations click on connectors right click on active directory connector which is your local domain and then go to properties under properties you will click on configure directory partitions under select directory partitions here you will see the domain names that are available within your active directory forest for my active directory i have only one domain which is testlabs.local so i can see only one domain here testlabs.local if you have multiple domains in your forest you will see the list of domains here under select directory partitions so from here you can you can decide which domain you want to synchronize to azure active directory or the users from which domain you want to synchronize if you uncheck a domain that means the users who are available within this particular domain will not be synchronized to azure active directory if you will check a particular domain in that case the objects the users or groups that are available within this particular domain will start synchronized to azure active directory this is how you can achieve domain based filtering if you want to configure ou based filtering you will right click on your active directory connector go to properties click on configure directory partitions and then click on containers here you will type the credentials of your enterprise administrator now in this screen where it says select containers here you will see the list of all the ous which are available within your active directory here on the left hand side you can see the ous that are available similarly under select containers you can see all the organizational units so from here you can select or uncheck the ous that you want to sync let's say you want to synchronize this ou so in that case you will check this ou now the users 
or the objects that are available within this OU will sync to Azure Active Directory. If you do not want to sync a particular OU, if you do not want to sync objects from a particular OU, you can uncheck that particular OU. Here I have checked only one OU, which is test OU. That means I am syncing users or the objects only from test OU to Azure Active Directory. So whatever user accounts or the objects that are available within test OU, only these objects will synchronize to Azure Active Directory. The third type of filtering that I'm going to show you is attribute based filtering. Attribute based filtering can be configured with the help of synchronization rules. If you want to create a synchronization rule, you will go to synchronization rules editor. I will be discussing synchronization rules in detail in one of the next sessions. That session will be completely dedicated to synchronization rules. For this session, I'm going to create a rule to filter object bases on their attributes. So in this example, I will be creating a rule. And that rule will be if extension attribute one equal test, that object will not be synchronized to Azure Active Directory. So we are going to filter objects on the basis of their attributes. Before we create a synchronization rule, let's create one user account. So I'm syncing only this OU, so I'm going to create one user in this particular OU. Let's give it a name. And now let's go to attribute editor for this particular user account. And let's add a value within extension attribute one. So I'm going to add test value within extension attribute one. And then we will create a synchronization rule on the basis of this attribute. Click OK, apply and OK. And let's go to synchronization rules. Now from here, we are going to create one inbound rule. Inbound rule will be triggered as soon as this user will be picked from Active Directory. Make sure you have selected inbound here and then click on add new rule. Here you can give it a name. Let's say do not sync. And connected system will be your local Active Directory. Connected system object type will be user. Metaverse object type will be person. And precedence will be a number which is not assigned to any other rule. Let's add 50 and let's leave other options as it is. Click next. Here under scoping filter, we will click add group and here we will define certain attributes or certain clauses. So the clauses will be. We will click add clause and here we will select the attribute. Attribute is extension attribute one. Operator will be equal. And here we will type the value that we have typed within extension attribute within attribute editor of that user. Once this is done, the attribute operator and value. Now click next. Join rules, you can leave this blank. Click on next. Under transformations, you will click add transformation. And here the flow type will be constant. I will be discussing all these components, flow type, scoping filter, joins, transformations. I will be discussing when I will be talking about declarative provisioning. And I will be conducting one session on synchronization rules as well. So I will be discussing all these components in detail. 
for this demo, I'm just going to show you how you can filter objects on the basis of attributes or how we can perform attribute based filtering. Here we will select flow type constant. Target attribute will be cloud filtered. Source will be true. And click add. So now this rule has been created. Let's minimize this. Let's go back to PowerShell. And let's enable sync scheduler. Press enter. Whenever you make any changes within OU based filtering or you do attribute based filtering or domain based filtering, always run full sync cycle or initial sync cycle. So the command is start hyphen. AD sync sync cycle hyphen policy type initial. Press enter. I will be discussing Delta and initial sync cycles in the next session when I will be showing you how you can synchronize users from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. For this demo, just understand that initial sync cycle is the type of sync cycle that syncs all the changes which are done within Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. Delta sync cycle only synchronizes the recent changes. If you have created a user account or if you have modified an attribute of a user account, these recent changes are synchronized by Delta synchronization. So here we have run initial sync cycle. The sync cycle has been completed. And if we click on full import for local Active Directory, we can see the object is not picked. And the reason is we have filtered this object on the basis of extension attribute one, and we have created one synchronization rule, which is restricting this user to be synchronized from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. So this way you can create synchronization rules if you want to filter the objects on the basis of their attributes. In the next video, I will be showing you how to synchronize objects from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. I will be discussing types of sync cycles, how to run sync cycle using PowerShell and from Sync Manager. I will be showing you how we can search for a user within Metaverse and how to check connector space for each connected data source. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, suggestions or feedback related to the contents that I'm posting, feel free to write in comments. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.